This is the studio art class and some samples of the work we do. The projects are based on building skills techniques and learning a wide range of mediums. What's great about studio art is that most of the projects are open for interpretation and developing your own style. The teacher is really supportive and provides us with feedback to help us grow artistically. If you want to eventually take AP art, it's important to take studio art first so you can start preparing your portfolio. This is the AP art class. In this class, you complete 24 pieces to turn into the college board. Studio art should be taken first so you can start preparing your portfolio. Most of the year, you will be working on a theme of your choice so you can focus on what you love. AP art is also a great class to take if you want to major in art or go into an art career. This last image shows pieces from my theme in progress. I chose Land End, a nature trail in San Francisco, to turn elements of its nature into fashion designs. Hey there, Jack. What do you like about ceramics, too? I like how it allows me to creatively express myself. I agree. The class is a great complement to the otherwise stressful day I have. Agreed. Um, I like that I, after sitting in classes all day, I can come to the ceramics classroom and figure out for myself what I'm going to do that day. It's a lot of hands-on stuff, which I really like, and I'm a very visual person, which is great. Hi, I'm Jonathan Yep, and I am a current Digital Arts 2 student. And here is Digital Arts 2, an advanced digital arts course for those wishing to further their journey in digital arts. Students can explore their interests in 2D animation, 3D modeling and animation, and or video game creation. If you are very passionate about the arts, and you want to continue expanding your digital arts skills, then Digital Arts 2 is the perfect choice for you. Here we have an advanced photo class, second year photo students. With Photo 2, the goal is for students to develop their own style and creativity based on projects that help them think outside the box. Students also get to learn and work with more advanced editing techniques, a variety of camera lenses, the lighting studio, and some fun Photoshop projects. If you're interested in AP Photo, I would definitely talk to the teacher to see if it's a good fit. The reason why I think I do really like illustration design is because it's a class for all levels of art. Personally, for myself, I've never done art before before this class, and everything here, just like being with people I do know and I don't know, it's like a really comforting class, and I've actually like learned a lot. And like through like all the projects and like basically learn, I feel much more confident as an artist, and I feel like it's a class like people should really be interested in. I like illustration and design because I get to learn new things that I didn't know before, and I get to there are things that I would use in the future. Illustration and Design 2 is a good class to take after Illustration and Design 1 because you get to focus on the theme of your choice for the rest of the year, including different art pieces that you can incorporate. It's a step further from Illustration and Design 1 where it's more of the illustri illustration aspect, so it uses the mind more and more than like the technique and aspects that you learned in Illustration and Design 1, so I think it's more mentally tiring, but I think it's definitely an interesting route to take. 